So this weekend uh, on Sunday is Father's Day. So today we're going to create a little bit of a game uh, that you can show your dad. Uh, a lot of the time um, uh, you will see when people talk about uh, dads and what dads like to do, a lot of them like to work in, in the garden, on their car, or in their tools. Uh, and they're, they're, they're very handy. And they also really love to do fishing. Okay? A lot of people in Australia, uh, a lot of dads in Australia really, really enjoy fishing. So today we're going to make a little bit of a fishing game. It's going to be a bit similar to the whack-a-mole games that we've done before. Uh, but the difference is the way that our, um, uh, our fishes are going to move. We're going to see if we can try to move them uh, in the screen in a very uh, realistic way. Okay? We're going to learn how to make, uh, make fishes um, uh, clone themselves. We're going to change up their colors. And also, we're going to make them so that they swim uh, sideways across the screen uh, with very small variations. And then when they reach the end of the screen, they will bounce and then re reverse their direction. And then they'll be swimming around the screen. There's a, there's a couple of things we need to do. Yolanda. We need to show the fish. We need to show the fish. Excellent. Very good, uh, Yolanda. So we need to show the fish because right now it's hidden, right? So we need to go into looks and then we show the fish. And then also we need to uh, um, put the fish in a random place in our fish tank, right? So we go into uh, motion and we go to random position. And we put that before we show the fish so that it zaps to a random position and then it shows itself. Okay, and now you can test your code by pressing the flag button to see where uh, all the fish come out. Okay, so press go on the flag and then you see, whoa, there we are, we've got lots of fish. Let's go again and then you see all these fish. Cool. So it looks like that our next costume command is not working properly. Okay, so it's gone to the next costume uh, for one of those uh, one of those fish designs, but it's not the, uh, the actual uh, multiple fishes that we wanted. So here I'm going to make a change, okay? So bear with me uh, and see if you can spot where I'm going to make this change, okay? I'm going to get rid of this next costume command, but where do I need to put this next costume command? Does anyone want to have a guess where... Um, where I should be putting that next costume command. Kevin. In the repeat six. Very good. Excellent work, uh, Kevin. So let's try that. So let's get rid of our next costume command from here. And what we do is we highlight, uh, uh, we drag away the set color effect. That way we can move the next costume. And then we can now put it under the create clone of myself thing. Uh, uh, repeat uh, inside the repeat block above. And then we drag this back to when I start as a clone. Does that make sense? So make sure that you put the next costume under create a clone of myself. And then when you start as a clone, we have everything except for that next costume. We go, we press the go flag. And then here, now we have lots of different colored fish and different, uh, different shapes as well. Cool. Uh, Kevin. How are you doing? Maybe you can put set rotation star to left, right. When ah, excellent. So uh, that's a good suggestion, Kevin. And that's because when we have our fish moving uh, to the left, we have, um, have them going upside down, right? So you can just uh, stop the game. And then what you can do is uh, you set the rotation to left, right only. So here, go set rotation style. Uh, in motion to left, right. And then we put that in the here. Okay, I start as a clone and set rotation left, right. Oops. That way the fish aren't going to go upside down. 